Hi, welcome to this week's video. If you were with me last week, you know that I did a makeup tutorial featuring cool to medium toned makeup and how to even identify what your skin tone is. So if you feel you've been better able to hone in on what that is, and that really helps you to target what kind of makeup to choose, I wanted this video to focus more on the warm to neutrals and I also wanted to highlight a makeup line that I discovered at Ulta. You probably know about it, and if you haven't, it'll be your entree to Catrice. And what I love about Catrice is what is not in it. So, well, actually, there are two things that I love about Catrice. Number one, the most expensive item that I purchased was $15, and that was this incredible eye palette that we will be using today. And the second coolest thing that I love about it is the fact that it is made in Italy and it is cruelty-free, oil-free, gluten-free, paraben-free, vegan, perfume-free, alcohol-free, microplastic alternative, and support sustainable palm oil. They have an additional 60 ingredients that they deem to be unsafe and they have eliminated. So I love the fact that this is a super clean product and the price point is astonishing. Now, Obviously, I am probably the last to the party, which was why most of the tree stuff was completely cleaned out at Ulta. But I was able to find enough to be able to demonstrate and show you. You'll see a few supplements, but for the most part, I'd say this is 90% Catrice. This is warm to neutral makeup, and we will push in and get started with the application. I also want to let you know that we will be doing a matte coverage foundation with a matte primer. Uh, it is almost August here in Houston, Texas, and it is blazing hot with humidity about as high as the temperature itself. So I feel like I put on makeup, I get to work, and by the time I'm there, I'm already shiny. So I'm really hopeful that this makeup will also help to mattify my face and to keep that shine at bay. The first product is Prime and Fine Goodbye Pores by Catrice, obviously. I don't know about you, but my uh, T-Zone really, really gets shiny. And I find that I'm just having to touch up with too much powder and then that gets cakey. So I'm hoping that this will minimize the amount of powder application that I have to use throughout the day. And by the way, I will take you with me so we can see how it wears um, by the end of the day too. Got to be fair, right? That's the only way to test makeup. All products will be listed in the description portion below along with the price and a link if you are interested. Next up is the uh, camouflage. This is the concealer. As you know, I like to use concealer on my eyelids as an eyelid primer. So we're going to go ahead and do that first. And then we will do the foundation afterward. I can tell it dries very quickly, which is good. It's a matte concealer as well, so I expect the foundation to do the same thing. They say to shake well before you apply, and this is the Catrice HD Liquid Cover Foundation. I think it says 24 hour. Yes, lasts up to 24 hour mattifying, water sweat proof, second skin effect. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to find out. Second skin. Is it going to feel like my own? Um, anyway, so this color is 040. Warm beige. That's right. This is a warm to neutral makeup tutorial. Ooh. That's kind of nice. I see what they mean about second skin. It does, it does dry quickly. And it feels like your own. So far, I like it. My hope is that it will give me enough coverage for my work in television. Um, for those of you who don't have to worry so much about cameras, uh, this will be more than fine. And if need be, I'll just sort of pat on <laughs> a few layers to get there. Okay, and now I'm just gonna use, by the way, you can always use your finger. It'll make for a bit of a, uh, heavier application if you just take it and pat it in as opposed to using a sponge or a brush. So if you feel you need more coverage, that's what I would recommend. And this is doing the trick for me. Also a little bit under the nose too where I get pink from the retinols. I like to do just a little bit around the lip. 
I don't know, I got some red spot on my forehead. Did I, did I like hit myself in the middle of the night? I don't know what's going on here. It's like I bought myself or something. I didn't see anything for eyebrows. So I will be using the NYX Professional Brow Tint Pen. I've used this before in a video and I like it because it gives you these really nice kind of eyebrow strokes. It's as if you went and got your brows microbladed. I will just fill in. And you kind of follow your natural hairline of how the brow hairs grow. And it's always good to leave a little bit of space in between so it looks more like natural hair. And I'll use a spoolie to soften a little bit too. But for now, we'll just let that set. So these eyeshadow colors, wow. Basic Bay is what it's called. And these are fabulous shades of warms, peaches, browns, golds. Woo! I don't know, I haven't decided what I'm gonna use yet. I better figure that out quick. <laughs> um, let's see, I'm gonna go in with hashtag MOTD. I should know what that means, but I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> okay, anyway. That's this color here on the bottom left. I will use that on my lid and carry it into my crease. Kind of a nice peachy brown. Really nice color and great pigmentation. What I say this palette was 15 bucks. That was the most expensive thing purchased. How do you like them apples? What's next? <laughs> Hashtag MCM. That's next, the one right next to it. Hashtag MCM. I'm going to go out here. It's a nice warm brown. Real pretty. Ooh, these colors are nice. The last one I know, it's hashtag TBT. Throwback Thursday. I'm so cool. <laughs> it's the darkest color in the mix. So I'm going to block in my eye with it. So far, I'm really liking what I've used. Hashtag squad. I'm going to use that as a bit of a blending color up top. Nice. And then for the brow highlight, hashtag basic, anything but right there. And this just really crisply defines the eyebrow. I'll also come in just a little bit here in the inner corner. There are uh, iridescence in this palette but I am sticking to all matte colors for this look. Remember, you can experiment with the iridescence here at the inner corner or on the top of the lid. So far, I think they're nice. Okay, I am going to rim the waterline with a brown pencil by NYX. I didn't see any pencils. Like I said, I'm sure Catrice has them, but my selection was a bit limited. I'm gonna do a black up top to smudge in the lashes. I will smudge a little bit in the lower lash line, just a little bit, mixing these two colors that I used on my lids before. So we're creating a nice little smoky eye. Mascara up top. I'm actually gonna do a lash strip today instead of magnetic lashes. Ooh, breaking outside the box. This is a really great mascara, by the way. I thought I had a drugstore brand at home, but I didn't. It had already passed the six month mark, but this one is by Terry Lash Expert, and it's got a really cool twist brush. So if you're in the market for a mascara, it's a really, really good one. It makes nice feathery, pretty lashes, no clumps, no thickness, no goop. So that's great. Let's let that settle for a little bit um, and take care of the concealer now before we do the lash strip. Nice concealer. Again, it's mattifying. This particular product line had a highlighter, uh, but it was a super glittery, glowy type of a highlighter. 
So you can always use, if there are areas that you want to lift a little bit, you know, kind of in between the eyebrow, tip of the nose, upper lip, here, you can always use your concealer for that. Just that little pop of brightness. The next expensive thing on the list is the Catrice Baking and Setting Loose Powder HD. I believe this was $12. Very finely milled loose powder. I have a plain little puff. I just prefer applying loose powder with a puff. I find with a brush, powder just goes flying everywhere and sometimes you get more of it on your clothes than you do on your face. And I also like the ability to uh, press it in. I am super matte. <laughs> yeah, see, even with that, I still got a little bit of powder on me. Okay, let's tackle these lashes. Um, I'm gonna try, I've never used this before, I Lure London. I love them because they're three quarter length because I don't have very large eyes, so I find that I have to clip eyelashes constantly. So the three quarter length will probably be perfect for the length of my lashes. <laughs> probably should have cut the tape before doing this video. Or I can just kind of butcher it. Hold on. Yeah even comes with a little glue. How perfect are you? And I love them because they are, they've got a super thin base. I don't like the very thick lashes because it tends to cover up a lot of what you've done regarding eyeshadow. And I don't have a big lid, so the ones with a thick base just kind of close my eyes that much more. I am hopeful. When I work, I always wear some type of an extra lash unless I have uh, full-on lash extensions, just because eyes disappear on camera, unless you got big old eyes. I don't, I have a big old mouth. <laughs> what do they say, you get what you get, you don't get upset. I'm not complaining. Ooh, but they're pretty. Oh, I love these. You know why I love them? They don't come up so much. They sort of swoop out and then up. I love that look because again, you can see more of your eye makeup that way. Ooh, these three quarter babies are perfect. So exciting, new discoveries. By George, I think I've got it. Okay, these are, these are hands down my favorite adhesive lashes yet. Favorite, what a great discovery. Okay, wow. So far, everything's a win. Let's go on now to the uh, Sungasm Bronzer, Luminizing Bronzer in Bronzed Euphoria, which is what I would like to be in at the moment. So let's see how this works. This is gonna sort of serve as a color to warm me up, also a little bit of contour. Good color for that. It's got just a tiny, tiny bit of uh, iridescence to it. So I'm, I'm letting you know that it's not a matte bronzer. Um, and if you need a matte bronzer, then you'll have to go outside the Catrice line. I, did, I didn't see one, but it's got, a, it's got a little kick of gold to it, which you are probably seeing. All right, and then I found a blush from them. Nude Peach 025, Nude Peach. Peachy Keen. So let's just kind of hit up here. It matched more of uh, the eyeshadow colors. And it's really pretty. Last but not least, Lips. New Truffle by NYX. One of my favorite nudes. I think I featured it in last week's video. Doing just a little shadow blur. I also have a uh, NYX highlight pencil that I'll ride just above that. Okay. Like I said, I felt badly that I had to go outside the Catrice line, um, but I did not find a lipstick there. This is Wet n Wild. Ooh, that is tiny. Bear. Mm -hmm. Bear it all. Bear it all. I got it. Bear it all. 
Really pretty nude color. And matte. And nice. I did want to feature a Catrice line with the lips and it's more of a lip gloss. So if you struggle, even though I have to say this Wet n Wild feels pretty good, but if you struggle with a full on matte lip and you just need a little kick of gloss, this one is their Liquid Lip Balm 030 Lychee Glaze. All we need is a lychee martini and we'll be good to go. Good lipstick topper and it was light and it was similar in color between the two. I mean, here, here's the lipstick. Here's the lychee glaze, right? We're not all that far off in the family. Okay, this is a Catrice makeup look, all from Ulta. Like I said, the most expensive thing was that fabulous eye palette. The foundation, I have to say, this second skin thing that they talk about, it's, it's kind of for real. It's really, my face doesn't feel like it's got a bunch of goop on it. It feels very light and natural and that's incredible. I think I really love it, especially for the price point. And I'm sorry, but I can't get over the lashes. <laughs> I'm a little transfixed. <gasps> what a fabulous discovery this has been. Wow, I cannot wait to see how it wears. I will continue on and bring you to work with me and then we'll be able to wrap up at the end of the day and take a look at the foundation and see what it looks like. But so far, so good. Just need a little bit of a touch up, powder and such before promos. Would I do that? Yeah. I don't know. The ghost proper operator is doing it. Ooh. Mm. I think this is getting big. Can you rock this before nine o'clock? Okay, let's come in close for that close up. Makeup held up pretty well. You see just a little bit of the iridescence there from the bronzer. The only thing that I did notice as a negative was that the foundation did start to wear away just a little bit around the nose area. But I mean, come on, it's 10 past 11 at night. So I think that's, that's okay in my opinion. Incredibly lightweight, feels great. The eye palette colors were phenomenal. And I'm, um, what can I say, the, the, the lashes. <laughs> I'm like fixated on the lashes. They might be my favorite. <laughs> anyway, I hope this review was helpful for you in the warm makeup tutorial. Ideas and suggestions below in the comment section of what you'd like to see in future videos. Social media is where you'll find me in between these Thursday videos. And I encourage you as always to be bold and blessed in everything that you do. And I'll see you next Thursday at one.